All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm mm-hmm. here. Mano's here. Yeah. New Mano! Oh my gosh, Yee Tea time. And now Diddy is facing another lawsuit. Damn. This is a new one, and this one is actually from Dawn Richard. Of course, you know her from Danity Kane and Dirty Money. Mm-hmm. Um, now, she said that during onset auditions, Diddy would call female contestants fat. Ugly, bees, and hoes. She said that Diddy particularly didn't like her because she was young and excited to work with him. He was so famous. She also says that she saw Kim Porter crying as she left the music studio with her face all banged up. Then she realized that he was capable of violence and that her life could be in danger. Then a year later, she was introduced um, to Cassie, and she was present when Diddy first met Cassie. And she said that he invaded her space and was transfixed on her in a predatory fashion. And then later on, she witnessed him personally, high on drugs, throwing Cassie against the wall, choking her, and dragging her up a flight of stairs in his L.A. home. Uh, She goes on to detail some other things that he did with Cassie, including uh, punching her in the face and wrapping his hands around her throat, attempting to strangle her inside of his mansion. And Mm. she also said that at one point she was a victim of Diddy's abuse. He forced her to rehearse 48 hours at a time without sleep. She dropped a lot of weight because of this and was dehydrated and fatigued and had rashes. And at one point she went to his house and he was naked. She asked him to put on some clothes and he said, this is my effing house. And then she said things got worse. One time he barged into her dressing room while she was naked at the recording studio and he inappropriately touched her breasts and butt. And she also says that he locked her in a car with heavily tinted windows for two hours as she was screaming for help and even called her dad for help. Mm. Is that wild? Wow. And, you know, I feel like Don Richard has never really negatively spoken on him. Remember when um, everybody got fired and she was the one that remained Mm -hmm. from Danny D. Kane? Uh, She said her dad traveled from Baltimore to New York to free her and confront Diddy and report him to the police. But Diddy said, think about your daughter and think about your daughter's career. And I guess that's why she alleges that that didn't happen. Wow. All right. So we'll see how all of this is going to play out. There's a lot going on. There's a lot happening. Yeah, when it comes to that. All right. Uh, Pharrell, he went back and forth with the PETA protester who crashed his premiere of his um, Lego biopic, Piece by Piece. This was at the Toronto International Film Festival. Now, he was answering questions following the screening of the film, and here's what happened. Pharrell's You're question right. is made Pharrell. from here! Yes, right. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Jesus loves you. All right, well... Yeah, that's what you got to say to people. It, what? God bless you. God bless you. Well, he Jesus did... Jesus loves you. ...address the situation because security did remove the protester from the theater, at which point Pharrell was able to address the audience, and here's what he said. Sometimes when you have plans to change things in, in, in situations, you have to get in a position of power and of influence where you can change people's minds and help progression. That is not necessarily the way to do it. But that's okay. When that change comes, everybody in this room will remember that I told you we're actually working on that. And if she would have just asked me, I would have told her. There are brands who have stopped using real fur, yeah, too, by the way, that's right. and use only faux fur. It's illegal in uh, California. All right. Well, uh, PETA Executive Vice President Tracy Riemann said we would be happy to stop disrupting Pharrell's appearances. But despite a lot of lip service, he's yet to ditch fur and exotic skins. Pharrell can decide in a heartbeat today to use his power for good and stop being complicit and cruel, complicit in cruelty. It's quite easy to be kind. So that was their response. You know, as long as they're not um, eating cats and dogs and abducting people's pets, then <laughs> that's a whole nother it's fight. It's a whole they nother need thing. To fight. Listen, under the radar is next, and normally we would try to do stories that are flying under the radar, but I feel like today there's no way that we cannot talk about the debate and maybe mm. bring things to light that you may not have already heard about. But uh, let's do that today. Under the radar, when we come back, Kamala Harris, VP Kamala Harris versus uh, Donald Trump. It's way up. 